Hello, my name's Billy. Uh, I'm a first year uh, computer science student at York St. John. Uh, I just finished my first year pretty much, so I've been going in my second year now. Uh, so why did I choose computer science? Uh, computer science has always interested me ever since I started doing it at school. Computers have always interested me, like how they work, how they handle data and things. And I went to York St. John and, the le and I think the most important thing is that lecturers are good and they keep you interested. So when I went to York St. John, I didn't. I wasn't getting bored of the lectures when they talked to me about what they do and what the modules were about. Um, and I think that if you're going to choose your St. John, that is a really good place to do computer science because the lecturers are always so passionate um, about what they're teaching. Um, so let's just talk about some of my favorite modules that we've done. So obviously, if you're going to do computer science programming, obviously one of my favorite modules. Um, not to be cliche, so what we do at York St. John is we learn Java as our main programming language, which we do um, right from the ground up. So you get to learn everything from printing Hello World. Um, and the minute I've just finished doing things like at rare lists and obviously get to learn like for and if statements and switch methods. But if you don't know what that is, then you will, you will get to learn them uh, at York St. John. Um, we also use Python for data handling and data visualization as well. That was quite cool. So you get to learn how you can make like, um, so when you're doing your A-level maths, now you get to find out how you could have made a program do it all for you, which uh, would have been nice to know at the time. But, um, you know, we don't all of those luxuries all the time. Uh, another one of my favorite modules was doing system fundamentals. So that's learning about like um, all the RAMs, what CPU, what goes on inside a CPU, what goes on on the motherboard, all the bus memory channels. Uh, but my favorite part is when we got to use the Raspberry Pis and Arduinos. Um, if you're not sure what they are, they're just like little small computers that you can buy for like 20 quid. Um, and you get to program them yourself, whether it's just like turning on a light or sometimes people use them to make, example, like a smart mirror themselves. Um, but those are really cool because you can just sort of make it do anything you want as long as you are in control of it. And you can make some pretty cool interesting circuits because you get to learn about like electronics in a way as well at the same time and how everything communicates with one another. So the good thing about York St. John is that the class sizes are um, quite small compared to most of the universities. So you're not competing with like 200 other people to try and get or try to talk to your lecturer. So that makes it a lot easier when you're getting stuck with something like with your programming. If you didn't really understand anything, if you go to your lecturer, they'll make the time for you to make sure that you do understand it and that you do uh, come out of the going to the next lecture you know, you're able to pick up on what you did last week and not be a bit confused about it. You can go, oh yeah, I, I remember this because uh, um, my lecturer told me about this and the, all the lecturers are so lovely. They're so passionate about everything that they teach you and they will give you so much time in order to make sure you understand it. Um, so let's talk about the resources and uh, the hardware that we use at York St. John because I know some people who do computer science will be really interested in that. So at YSJ, we currently use Macs to program on. Um, I know some people are like, oh, Macs, horrible. Uh, Macs are actually some of the best things to start programming because the environment's just so catered and so well optimized for programming. Um, we do use Eclipse um, as our um, integrated development environment um, or IDE. Um, so that's so. Why do we use that? That's because it's using industry and it's just make sure that you can you know um, um, a developer environment for when you go to the industry. So it's kind of preparing you for industry at the same time. Um, of course, we're the ones like IntelliJ, but Eclipse is the one we use um, just to make sure that you know your way around at least one. Um, for opportunities for computer science at York St. John, um, of course, there'll be opportunities through the year, like sometimes um, there have been trips to go to the Computer Science Museum uh, in Germany. Um, but another great opportunity, way to get opportunities is to join the Computer Science Society at York St. John. And so, for example, this year I went to an event called B-Sides Leads um, for cybersecurity, which meant I got to talk to loads of people in industry and talk to lots of different people about what they did. For example, there was a guy who like knew all about physical locks, which is still cybersecurity because you still have to make sure no one can get to your servers. But then there was another guy talking about encryption and uh, all the different methods and uh, what it's like in today's society. Uh, any tips for people who want to do computer science? If you learn anything in class, please practice it outside. You need to make sure that you understand it and that you need to you need to be able to do it just off the top of your head. You know, you don't want to be thinking about what was that last week. Um, you need to make sure that when the lecturer is talking to you next week about what they did last week, you need to make sure you understand that. It'll make learning process so much easier. Um, so in three words, just practice, practice, practice. Um, if you're still confused by something, as I said prior, just ask your lecturer about it and they'll be able to help you. And if that still, if you still, that still doesn't help, watch a video online and follow along the tutorial or something and then look, look back at the code because normally the tutorials will explain what they're doing in the code as well. 
So you'll be able to um, look at your own code and go, oh yeah, I know what that does. As long as you know that the code that they've written and know what it does and what each part does, then you'll be on your way to understanding it. Um, if you are wanting to do computer science and you never touched Java before, a good website to get started on is called Code Academy. Um, it's a free website to sign up on. You can start learning Java right from the basics if you want to do a bit prior to coming to university. Allow, you can do, there's not just Java, there's like Python, Ruby, C, C Sharp, HTML. Um, yeah, you can use all of those to try and, um, you know, just build on your programming experience before you come to Yonk St. John. So no, not everyone's touched Java before, before they, uh, they come. So yeah, I've been Bailey. Thank you very much for um, listening to my ramblings about computer science at Yonk St. John. Hope to see you soon.